The world of mechanical keyboards is one of infinite possibilities. Enthusiasts of all walks of life can typically agree on one thing. Building is superior to buying off the rack. Why? Customizability. Keyboards are subjective. Individual preferences are the driving force behind most decisions when building a keyboard. But unfortunately, these choices also come with high costs. Building your own mechanical keyboard from scratch in this economic climate can get out of hand pretty quickly. Between trade embargoes, ongoing supply chain issues, and rising inflation here in the United States, keeping your total ticket under $200 is actually pretty difficult. But there's hope. For those of us who are looking to switch it up, but are just needing a little stopgap between our current old keyboard and whatever we want to build, there's some compelling options out there put out by manufacturers such as MageG, makers of this little guy. This is the MK Box. It's a $30, 27 at the time of filming this video, 65% mechanical keyboard featuring blue switches of dubious origin, double shot injection keycaps, and a detachable USB-C. The keyboard comes in nine different flavors. That's five different colorways and two different switch varieties, generic reds and generic blues. For my unit, I opted for the white and gray option with the yellow accents and the clicky blue switches because I need you to know how good of a typer I am. Speaking of typing, the typing experience on this keyboard is pleasant enough. I haven't had any major issues that one would typically see in the budget range of keyboard options. There haven't been any multiple inputs or null inputs to speak of. It's all been pretty standard stuff. The switches are clicky, though I'm not the biggest fan of how they sound all the time. First of all, this puppy is loud. I love me some clicky switches and kachonka chonk, but this bad boy takes it to the extreme and it's borderline obnoxious. Secondly, I've noticed with this particular keyboard that the position of the keys affects the sound that's actually emitted from striking them. So, for instance, the number 5 sounds completely different than striking the letter C. Doing some research on this particular matter, I actually found that there may be an issue with kind of an echo chamber in the back of the unit, which some simple mods will address that and hopefully kind of even things out. As for aesthetics, the keyboard's pretty dang sharp, y'all. The option I went with, gray, white, and yellow, perfectly matches my current setup and makes for some really nice eye candy. Now let's talk about build quality for a second. So just to cut to the chase, it's plastic, okay? It's a $30 keyboard, y'all. They're not gonna give you the world for $30. With that said, the keycaps are nice. As stated earlier, these are double shot injection caps that feel quality. I don't feel as if a stiff keyboard stroke is going to crack one. Now with all that said, I do have a small gripe. Very small. The keyboard I got only came with two colors installed. It doesn't come like it shows on the Amazon listing. The colors installed were gray and white. And that's perfectly fine. They give you a baggie of the yellow keys. You can install them if you wish. My only issue is those yellow keys don't have the same font or letter spacing as the installed keys on the keyboard. It's pretty annoying. From a quality perspective, they appear just fine. I'm, I'm confident that these keys are made with the same QA as the others. It's just the cosmetics, the actual typefacing. It's completely different. I don't know why, but it kind of annoys me and tilts me a little bit. So what's my final thoughts on this? I think it's a great value. If you're looking for a stopgap, even if you're just looking for an inexpensive option that's going to give you decent quality performance, I think this is an excellent choice. $30 USD can't be beat for the package that you're getting. I really think the best part about this keyboard is the fact that it comes with uh, essentially that nice custom built style and a USB-C connector that's detachable. You just really don't see that in this sort of price point. At the end of the day, in order to make it sound pretty good, it only costs about 30 minutes of my time and $8 in parts. That ain't bad, y'all. 
$38 and get a pretty high quality keyboard minus the fact that it's plastic on the back. I really don't think that's going to be that big of an issue overall though. So, what do you think? Do you own this keyboard? Do you have opinions on it that differ? Do you agree with what I have to say? Let me know in the comments below. The link to the keyboard, if you want to see it, it's not an affiliate link, but the link to the keyboard will be in the description. So if you want to check it out for yourself, feel free. Anyway, I'm Marsh. This is Sorted of Nerdery. Uh, you can catch me on YouTube once a week starting February 1st. You can also catch me on Twitch three nights a week starting February 1st. So I will see you guys around. Bye. Thank you.